Right guys, so I'm back with the um, fertilizer spinner on at the moment and I thought I was going to show you quickly <coughs> how to use um, the GPS and auto steering in, um, in the fent. Um, so it's quite simple really. Um, all you've got to do is you come to this button here on the right hand side um, and then you come to your sort of menu screen uh, and then you'll go to this sort of like a satellite and you want to click on that one and then open your satellite field up um, normally it'll take you straight to this field um, and then if you want to set up your um, your tractor as a new tractor I'll just do that quickly you click on the one with the picture of the tractor click that one and then it comes into this field which you can edit um, but because I've already got this set up it's already got it at all of the right distances of what I need but if you want to set up a new tractor you go add up here and then you just follow um, your sort of follow the menu so obviously it's on the rear um, is it three point linkage or toad so it's three point linkage um, and then it asks you if you want to name your implement but I don't really care about that um, and now it'll take you to uh, this screen and then you can um, it's just saying what what your name is there then it's got sort of three point linkage and then you've got your center distance so how far is from your center of your tractor to the right and how far to the left and then your working width so you just edit your working width I'm on 12 at the moment so take that so 12 meters and it gives me a 6 meter um, point here uh, and then on this point here you click this one and then you can choose when um, on your GPS screen your sort of like green line or your worked area has popped up so you can do it on um, say when your auto steering kicks in um, on spool, on your PTO kicking in, on your link arms going up or down and what have you. Um, for me, I will generally, um, I put it on auto steering, so when auto steering kicks in, it starts drawing the green line and I know where I've been then. Um, and that's, that's that, pretty much, that simple. Uh, then you just click back, um, and then you have it working with. 12 meters overlap you can adjust that here so you just scroll up and down how much overlap you want um, I don't want any overlap as I've got it programmed for the overlap on the um, fertilizer spinner um, so click that off and then if you so now that's all set up so your machine the tractor knows what implements on the back what width it is already um, and how it's going to work you've now got to just go into your AB function so up here it comes up to this screen uh, and then you've got to add um, your way line effectively so you just click that one and now you get to choose how you want um, sort of your steering to work so you can go AB which is where you put an A point here and a B point over there and it draws a dead straight line um, across the field effectively and then it will do that every because I'm working every 12 meters it will do it every 12 meters and it will effectively grid the whole field out ready for me just to go up with the auto steering um, contour is where you click it um, and you've got a play and stop button so you can click play at this side and then you can drive the headland and if it's curved like this um, it will draw a line with the curve in it and then it copies that all the way across the field um, angle A is where it draws a line pointing dead straight in front of you and that's your line then, it's just straight. Uh, generally I use the AB line, so click AB and then if you want to do obviously your AB so you put point A here which is fine and then we'll just drive on over to the other side of the field um, which will be over here and 
let's say I wanted my B line to be here. Um, just click B. You don't have to be stopped to do that. And then it says Wayline planning complete, successful, perfect. That's fine. So you can you can name it and you can put in your wayline. So you could say, oh, this is um, whatever nine acres, and then you can say wayline whatever hedge. But generally, I just click the tick and it's all done. Um, so you've set up now all of your tractor and where your AB lines are going to be. So then you just go into this button again and you just go to your field map. So here's your field map. And to get your lines on the field, you just come down here and you click this auto steering button. And there you are, you've just popped up. You've got lines across your field now to follow. Um, and it's literally that simple. And all you've got to do, if I just spin round, just line myself up again. going in the right direction. Um, most of the time I program it to have auto steering up here on these buttons but you can do it down here and I will show you how to set up this in another video but for now if you want to just click your auto steering in you slightly drive forward click that button that beep beep means that it's now locked onto the line and it is now steering for you so it's steering for me there you have it. So it's now just following that line nice and straight from A point to B point. So that is how you use the the steering in this is Vario Guide Lite. So this isn't the professional expensive version, this is just the sort of bog standard, this Egnos um, steering. And as you can see I'm just gonna literally coming into the tracks now. And where did I stop? I stopped about here. So, you know, it's pretty accurate. It's within five, ten centimeters or something. So, you and if you stop, it's now going to beep at me. I hope. There you go, it's beeping, saying you're not moving. Why have you got auto steering still on? So, it's just cancelled out for me. Um, also, if you want to cancel auto steering, you just grab your steering wheel. If you just move it slightly, it cancels it and you're back in control of the, of the vehicle. So hopefully you found that instructional and told you how to do it. There's a few little steps just to set your, your tractor up, but none of it's complicated. It's just following the instructions. Um, generally, if I'm not explaining it as I go, it takes me about three, four minutes just to set everything up on for the first time. For a new implement and then once I get in a field it generally it take I do it on the go actually because when I'm doing the headland um, with the fertilizer spinner that's when I'll put my AB lines in and whilst I'm moving so it doesn't actually take me any longer to set the GPS up than if I wasn't using the GPS at all which is nice um, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and it showed you how to use the GPS in this tractor um, and I'll be back doing a bit more fertilising, I guess. So, right. Cheers, guys.